खुफिया वीडियो देखने से पहले वीडियो को लाइक करें राहम टीवी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन पर क्लिक करें शुक्रिया अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह वकफा व सलाम على عباده الذين اصطفى اما بعد قال الله تعالى في قرانه المجيد بعد ان اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واذا قرئ القران فاستمعوا له وانصتوا لعلكم ترحمون وقال تعالى في مقام اخر افلا يتدبرون القران ام على قلوب اقفالها صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم القران حجه لك او عليك او كما قال عليه الصلاه والسلام as we were talking the lecture before me by dr faisal the quran is a kitab allah and as high as it is ranked and we all know that everything that that is highly ranked always has an etiquette always has a respect as we say that when we meet somebody with a high status if we ever get the opportunity to meet the president of america or somebody very high status we don't go dirty or we don't wear ripped clothes we dress very nice we wear the best cologne we look our best why because the respect the honor and it's the same honor that we should give to the kitab allah the book that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says zalik al kitab la rayb fi that this is the book that has no doubt every book that we read in history or every book we have read there has been mistake there has been something that was that has been made up fiction books non fiction books science so all different subjects they had something that was that was created by human being but kitabullah is kalamullah is the word of allah so there is no doubt in it there is no mistake in it and what of and like we said the etiquette as we mentioned before sitting with wudu as we all know the story of umar bin khattab radiyallahu an when he came to meet his sister when he found out that she was muslim and we all know he he beat her up and her husband and he had blood on his hands and when he saw the the scrolls of quran he tried he tried grabbing and reading but what did his sister say that you cannot touch this this is kitabullah this is kalamullah you have to cleanse yourself before touching so this is also upon us that today when we start reading the quran or when we touch the mushaf we should have wudu we should be clean and as as i mentioned واذا قرا القران فاستمعوا له وانصتوا لعلكم ترحمون that you when the quran is recited when the kitab allah is recited you listen you listen quietly and what is the reward for the person that listens quietly allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have mercy upon that person not only for the reader only but for the person that listens to kitab allah do we know any audio book today that gives you that much reward that when you listen to it you get mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says basaira lin nasi wa hudan wa rahma quran is an insight for people and a guidance and mercy from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam says in the hadith qari al qurani wal mustami' ilayhi fil ajri sawa the one who recites the quran and the one who listens to the quran the reward for both of them is the same this is what's the beauty of our kitabullah this is the beauty of kalamullah that even listening to it even listening to it is a reward there's no other book in this world if you listen to it, you get a reward and in another hadith rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says al quran hujjatu lak aw alayk as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also wa nunzilu min al qur'ani ma huwa shifaa'un wa rahmatun lil mu'minin 
وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا That we have revealed the Qur'an. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ That is a cure. That it is, it's a cure, it's a proof. It will be a proof on the Day of Judgment. There is no book in this world that will ever stand for you on the Day of Judgment in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the Qur'an. In another narration, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says to read Surah Mulk at night. And we all know that this Surah will protect us from the punishment of the grave. They said that when the grave will start squeezing the person, Surah Mulk will come in the shape of a human and talk against the punishment of the grave, the squeezing of the grave. And it will say, Oh Allah, this person used to read me every night before he went to sleep. This person read me every night before he went to sleep. And I'm here to protect him today. Oh Allah, if you want to punish him, take me out of the, take me out of the Qur'an. This is the power of reading Qur'an. Not only just reading, but also listening to Qur'an. So, the more we spend our time reading Qur'an, the more time we spend with the Qur'an, the Qur'an will stand with us on the Day of Judgment. And the more time we spend in the worldly life and forget about the Kitabullah, Kalamullah, then that is the same Qur'an that will go against us on the Day of Judgment. This is, this is Kitabullah. In an ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمَ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا That, do they not ponder over the Qur'an? Do they not ponder over the words we reveal? Or is it just their hearts that are locked, that are closed, that don't want to listen, that don't want to understand the kalamullah? May Allah protect us from this. They say, the Sahabi says that the Quraysh, their hearts were locked. Their hearts were locked. That's why whenever Quran was read, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala locked their hearts. They wouldn't understand the beauty of it. As from many, many narrations that we heard from even Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anh, that some of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had opened their hearts. So in the middle of the night when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would recite Quran, they would secretly come and listen. This is so beautiful. There's nothing, there is, there is no poetry like Qur'an. There is no poetry like Qur'an. There were, there were poets that tried challenging Qur'an. They were not able to challenge Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, He Himself, that if the whole human being and the jinn come together and try making a copy of Qur'an, they will never succeed, even if they help each other. They will never succeed. This is Kalamullah. The only book that will stand for us on the Day of Judgment. And we all know the one who memorizes the Quran. On the Day of Judgment, his parents will be granted a crown. He who memorizes the Quran, his parents will be grant, granted a crown that will shine brighter than the sun. And whatever he has memorized, Allah will tell him read. And he will read and he will take steps. And he'll keep taking steps until where he knows his end, until minal jinnati wa nas, that is his place in Jannah. This is the maqam of the Qur'an. May Allah give us tawfiq to memorize whatever we can and act upon the Qur'an and respect the Qur'an. Aqulu qawli hadha, astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ili al-muslimin, fa astaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafoorur rahim.